What is going on there guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Derby County Career Mode in FIFA 22 and welcome to season number 2 of the Derby County Career Mode. I hope you enjoyed last season, I hope you enjoyed the series so far. So let me know down below if you are and please be liking the videos and please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm so much wanted to make this channel a success and also I would love to one day get to about 1000 subscribers but I'm taking it one step at a time. I'm wanting to get to that 300 subscribers, so keep subscribing, guys. Keep liking the videos, keep watching the videos, and let me know down below any plays you'd like me to look at, and let me know that you're enjoying it. But either way, guys, we are in the championship now. We got ourselves promoted last season. Let's get ourselves going. I am not waiting any time getting into this this season. I want to get straight into it, and I will be dissecting all what's going to be happening. Obviously, we have got our. Before I get into anything. Uh, I have put a few players up to for sale, players who have maybe had to deal with last season because we couldn't sign one. This season, there is no restrictions. We have been, we have new owners, we have new transfer budgets, we can do whatever ever hell we like in reason. It's not how we can go out and get Lionel Messi or Mbappe. We're not going to go do that. We're going to try and be clever about it and... We're going to still stick with it and try and do a little bit more of the homegrown talent, kind of stuff like that. And this, I am not allowing to happen. Bird is not going anywhere. I am not letting that happen. Absolutely not. Where are you, Bird? He's worth 6.5 million. Absolutely bloody not. Get him a two-year extension, so he's got a four-year deal. Get out of here. Thank the Lord I saw that. Thank God I want Buddy Simulating. Let's see what he said. Wow. I've just done his new contract. He said, thanks for seeing me, boss. Look, I'm sorry to have to be telling him this. But I don't see my future. Okay. The first two offers I get are for players who are absolutely untouchable. I'm sorry, but I'm, put, I'm blocking offers for both of them, guys. Both 20... He's 19, he's 21 years of age, they're both in the 70s. They are going absolutely no way, not at this time anyway. They're kind of players who I'd probably want to stick around for the entirety of the career mode, if I'm honest. I mean, you look at this team, the major places I can probably see we could probably do with some good first team players is probably we're going to need a new right back because Brian, even though I'm not too fussed about keeping him around, I feel like he could be a good... Um, rotational player but I would like another right back and I would like another centre back they're the main areas maybe even I would probably like another striker as well um, so it all depends on what we can do uh, I have got a lot of my scouting reports back so let's have a little look do you know what? one player I'm thinking I might just go for because I feel like I've, I've wanted to try and get Travis Ladd out for a very long time but he always seems to move or be out on loan Liam Delap, a Manchester City youngster. Obviously, it's hard for a youngster to get through to City. Obviously, I know we've got Phil Foden, and you get a certain players through City, but especially being a striker at City, like, he's got, I mean, technically not in this career mode, but in real life, like he's got Haaland coming, he's got Gabriel Jesus, he's even got Phil Foden in front of him, he's even got Sterling in front of him. Maybe he, should, he will drop down, and him and Plange can fire it out for the top spot so you know what let's see if we can get Liam Delap on a pretty cheap deal I would love if I can sort of split the striker centre back and right back transfer budget and then anything else we get from other transfers we'll see maybe we will get a few transfers for some players we'll see maybe try to do some swaps if we can uh, so 2.3 million I'd say that's a pretty decent price for Delap and they're off in 2.4. You know what? I'm going to set that. He's 19 years of age with a lot of upside. Real in-game face. I am just going to take that, you know. Uh, what is he actually on? He's on scenting ground. I'm not going to offer him buddy that. Um, do you know Let's just offer him straight up 20 grand. We are up to the championship now. We have got a little bit of cash to work with. So now we can sort of... We haven't really got any restrictions now with champ. With uh, Obviously, I'm... More trying to go for the homegrown talent. Like this guy's an Englishman. He's obviously a homegrown player in England.
The other player I was I was considering is Andre Amaro. He looks pretty decent. His physicals are pretty decent. He's got very good strength, very good aggression, good ball control, decent sli slide and stand tackle. He's young. He's just on the verge of a 70 himself. He's very good on the ball. I'm not completely sold on him yet. I'm sort of going to look for other players, but we'll see how he goes. The other two, the other right back positions, I've got Nico Williams, but he's going to be quite pricey, I think. He'd be the better one, I feel like. I think overall he'd be the better player. He's sort of like a young Trent Alexander-Arnold, to be honest. I'd probably have to sell some players on for me to get him. I've also got Cody Dremer, or Drama, or whatever his name is. He's, again, he's pretty much the same. He's a, a little bit of a quick kind of player. He's a right wing back, not a right back, so he's a little bit more on the attacking side. Um, the other kind of player as well, I've got uh, Jada, Jared Braithwaite, who's not a bad little player. He's a little bit slower in acceleration. He's got 70 sp sprint speed. Um, I have got some decent players, so I'm going to just hold off just for now. So our first player signing, our actual first ever signing is going to be Liam Delap from Manchester City. He's not getting in game time at City anytime soon, so he's going to come down to the Championship to a team what is up and coming. And we have got a new signing in Liam Delap for 2.3 million. Not a bad little player to bring into the to the squad at all look at that that i will take that the new number nine i'll give him that why not that is a brilliant little one i love that so our first actual proper transfer what we're going to be able to do something with is uh ryan alsop a 30 year old who didn't get any game time last season i'm just going to straight up accept that from celtic and i can imagine this one should go through so I'm not going to say no to that. That's a little bit extra in the budget. Oh, crap. I didn't realise that I've still not got some training things done. That's Jesus Christ. How have I not realised that? I just hate the training stuff here. I wish you could just simulate them, but you just get D's if you keep, keep doing that. So, our top is sold. We'll get six, 625 grand for that. For a 30 year old, I don't mind that. It's half a million in the budget. So, that goes towards another player side. And there's a few players I'd like to go in for, but obviously it's all about the timing and all when we can go for these players. And to be honest, I might go in for another couple of players, seeing we've got our first game coming up. Um, I'm probably going to go for a right back. I've got about 7.5 million in the budget. So I am going to go for a, a right back. So my options are going for Dremor, who would cost probably about 3, three million or so, I'd say. I'm going to straight up just remove James Bree. He's a bit older and I want someone to slight young who's got a little bit more upside. Nico Williams, I might be able to get a little bit cheaper, but I'm not too sure. The other option is Ian Matson, a Netherlands fullback who's six, five foot six. He's a smaller foot fullback, yes, but he's got brilliant physicals for a young man. He's got decent ball control and passing and stand tackle and all that. He's a very decent player. He's got four-star weak foot, so I feel like I could very, very easily switch him over to the other side. So is Matson on Nico Williams? Matson was going to cost me about four to six anyway. Do you know what? I'm probably going between Matson on Nico, and I'm probably going to see who I can get the best deal for. Nico is my first choice. I think I used him I either in the Salford City career mode or earlier career modes before and he was an absolute beast I'd love to do that again but we'd have to see I don't think they'll go for this but let's see if we go for 5 wow they're really willing to give me him for 5.6 what about 5.2 Klopp and Jurgen Klopp's going to give me a cut deal do you know what I don't think I can really say no to this he's got a really in game face I really like the look of him I mean, his technical ability needs work, but that's about it. And he's a 21-year-old, 73-year-old, so he's already in the in the mid-70s, pretty much, nearly. Uh, I'm going to go and negotiate myself. And if I've got enough, I might go in for a center, one of my centre-backs. And then I've at least I've crossed off all the main three, and then anything else that happens after that is basically whatever happens. 
Uh, I, I probably understand that. Seems coming down to a. I mean, to be honest, it was a full last year, so. Wow, and he's, he's not asking for much. Wow, that is a pretty damn good deal, if you ask me. So the other big one I was going to go for is either Amaro or, J or Jared B Braithwaite. I don't really know who I'd want to go for. Probably Amaro. But Braithwaite is pretty decent as well. But to be honest, Amaro looks better on paper. Looks better technically, better passer, better mental. You know what? I might see if I can get maybe a maybe a swap deal with one of my players I've got on, on the transfer list. Let's see if we can maybe swap Ravel Morrison. Okay. We want Brian. This is a tough one because I don't really know if I want to really let Brian go. What about him or Ian? I'm probably more... Uh, I don't particularly want to do that. Do you know what? I'd be, if, I could, if they give me him, I'd be almost accept, ready to accept it. Just because Nico's in now, I probably wouldn't need Brian that much, if I'm honest. 8.50 and 8%. Ah, oh, we want some time. Okay. I do have to want to get rid of Brian, but he is 30. I, to be honest, I've got younger guys who I could give that time to. Got an offer for Norwich for Bird. Honestly, not interested in taking offers for him. Uh, I will be setting up my new scouting update as well, so... Um, oh, or maybe not. Do you know what? I'm pretty much ready to accept that. Amaro seems like a pretty decent centre back up and coming. Someone who can probably replace Lamb in the centre back anyway. Let's see if I can get him on rotation. Yes, I can. I don't really know what the club he is at. I'm pretty sure it's obviously a Portuguese club, but I don't know if it's the second or third division or. Um, let's give him a bit of a pay increase. Clean sheets. Give him a bit of a bonus. Now is a reasonable. Amaro is in. I have covered all three bases. We have a striker. We have a, a really good right back. And we have Amaro, who is a really up and coming centre back. We have done some bits already. And hope if we can sell some other players on, we'll see if we do all else. I may just leave it at that for now. And just like that, this is what the team is looking like. We've got two new players starting in the starting 11. I've put Nico Williams, obviously, in there. We've got Amaro, who I'm going to put in there because Lamb, even though he is pretty much covered Amaro on every basis, just about. Obviously, Lamb is 28, Amaro is 19, and the same overall. So, what I'm probably going to do is just give Amaro the start and see how he does in his first game. We've got Delap on the bench. We've got. I've also promoted uh, Summers. I've I put him to a camp position. He's 68 overall, so he can sort of come in for Sibley. We've got Watson, who's actually transferred over to a left winger, so he can be in there now. Got some really, really good backups as well. I really think we're, we're pretty much set for this season now. I'm, I'm glad we've got another striker to back up Plange. I'm really, really happy about that. We'll see how the season goes. We will be playing this first game against Cardiff City. 
and see how that one goes. Okay, so just before we start this, let's get ourselves a little press conference to start this championship season. We are back Thank where you for joining it began. Because we'll obviously I now. put Derby in the League One for us to fight up to his point. Basically, this is the start. Can you be in a promotion shake -up? Apparently, we're thereabouts. We'll give it our best. It looks like grabbing Williams from Liverpool might turn out to be a brilliant bit of business. Coming straight in against Cardiff, can he expect a bargain by to make an instant impact? He wants to prove his worth? I think he did. It's a big fixture to kick off a new season. Cardiff will be a very strong position. Do you feel your boys are ready for his challenge? I believe in my players, absolutely. That's all we have time for today. Thank you. So without further ado, let's get into this game. We're at Pride Park Stadium. We're gonna keep the starting eleven as it is. Two new starters today. Amaro and William starting today. Let's see if we can get off to a great start in the championship. So there we go. In real life, Derby County have been relegated to League One. We have simulated that, and apparently they should be coming back up. We made zero signs, we made one free agent signing, that is it. Now we have made three signings what, of significant purchases, two for two first team as well as one for the future in Liam Pilar. We will definitely probably get a chance out on the field today. But obviously, Plange, he brilliant last season, got like 40 odd goals and assists from Bayern last season. He had to start. Liam Delap is going to have to earn his place. Nico Williams and Amaro, they will have to prove themselves too. Let's have a little look. Keller is still in goal. It is another position I'd like to improve upon in goal, but he did a decent job last season, so he's still in there. Nico Williams and Amaro in there. Bielik and Buchanan as the, as the back four. Bird and Knight. Bird who nearly left in the summer. Sibley in there. Eversell and Lawrence on the wings. And Plange takes the top spot. Summers who could be making his debut today as well. Prior, so we've got two Youth Academy prospects on the bench today. As well as Liam Delap, a new signing. So in Kyra we've got Alex Smith is in there. We've got Perry and G, Flint, uh, Volks. Other players I kind of notice. So it looks like a more defensive team, but here we are back in the championship. What can we do this season? Can we fight for our place to hopefully maybe get into the Premier League eventually? Let's see. Ooh, it's a big, big challenge, that. You don't get anything out of it. Nico Williams is going to pick this one up. Ebiselli. Ebiselli! Oh! Ho, ho! A great little touch to get on his left. And he fires it top bins. Where was this finishing at the end of last season? Where was it, Ebiselli? Because that was horrid. This was brilliant. Look at that. Just cuts inside. Bang. No chance for Smithings. And Fessi Abasele gets his goal. First goal in the championship this season for him. That's a really good ball over there from Plange. It's a bad touch by Lorenzo. It's kicked away by Smithies. Good ball there from Knight. And he takes it up back over from Sibley. And Plange. Oh, he tried to chip Smithies, but Smithies was where. Great ball there to Fessy Abiselli from Nico Williams. He cuts inside. Fessy Abiselli tried to go for his second. Great little cut, Ronaldo chop there to get through. Cannon. Okay, this time. 
It's a good little ball out from back to Buchanan from Nico Williams. Buchanan, oh my God! I thought he messed that up and Emerson was going to slap the fuck out of him. Bielik! Oh, just wide! Amaro! Knight! Oh, it's another save by Smith. What is a corner? Come on! Wow, we were piling on the pressure there. In control, yeah. I feel like we just need that second goal, though. Really were there by Knight. Ebersele does the pace well against Baggin. Not a good enough cross by Ebersele in the end there. No end product that time. Plange. Oh, what a goal! Get it in your locker! Luke Plange! That is spectacular! That is a strike of utter class. Do you know what? All this match I've been thinking, have I bought a dud? Was I overthinking it when I was I thought I needed to sign this guy back? Would he be good enough for the championship? What a turn. And then a strike of utter quality. In under the side of the bar. That sound of the of the crossbar is absolutely glorious. He has to perform now at the laps here. He's got to have pressure, and he delivered on day one. Lou Sibley! Oh! Back to back goals! Louis Sibley doing the same, showing his class, and we are taking the game to Cardiff City. Knight with the assist this time. Just sort of used the Cardiff City player as a bit of a shield. I'll take that. Oh, Bill just gives it away. That's not good. Lawrence doing the backing work there against Nelson. Oh, what a piece of defending by Bird, but he just still can't quite, quite get a ball. And it's a screwed shot, but it goes out to a corner. So out there, Nico Williams has had a very, very good debut himself. He takes the one two. And that's Watson and back post! Blaze it wide. That was a chance for the young man. It's a hell of a cross by Nico Williams. Shows he can deliver something good like that. Oh, what a save by Roos. Not had much to do all day, but he saves us there. Saves our clean sheet. No. Jesus Christ, Watson. Hook out way better than that, mate. It's better. But the Elksol is just absolutely clattered. But there it is. 3-0. By the end of our first game back in the championship. Come on, boys. I am feeling good about this season. Let's go. Really, really happy with the way this team is. There we go. And by the way, it, it we just found out who came up with us. It was Sheffield Wednesday. So, but either way, I'm really happy how that first game went. I just think the further this squad goes this season, they're all going to be basically mid 70s by the end of the season, I think. And that's when it, it, it feels like it's such. I feel like that season in League One is going to do this team wonders. So if we start with, with the team we did in League One in the Championship. I think we would have struggled a bit more. I don't think we would have got much growth in people. It's going to be immense how much we can get into this team. We'll see how we can. We'll see how we do. 
We'll see you next episode and see if we can do any more transfers before the end of the transfer window. By the time we get out of the transfer window, because we've got quite a few fixtures to get through next uh, episode. After that, we'll probably start getting through, depending on how we're doing in the league. All depends. Like last season, we was sort of always in the top three. So uh, that's when I was able to simulate quite a few games. Hopefully, we can do that is the case this time around. And let's see if we can get up to do back to back promotions. That would be brilliant. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be liking the videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Pull that bell icon on so you know exactly when a new episode is out. At the moment, I don't have a specific schedule of when the episodes are coming out. It is basically when I can get them out as soon as possible for you guys. Usually, I prefer to do them daily, if not every other day. If not, it's because I've just not had any time to edit them. But I will be getting them out to you as soon as humanly possible, guys. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Till the next episode of the Derby County Career Mode, I've been Hawkeye Punisher, and I am out. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.